Good morning, Leo. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. Welcome back to all of those of you that have been around for a while. I appreciate you. Leo, this is going to be your bonus reading. I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, your last video for November has been amazing. Um, so many new faces to the channel, and I appreciate your love and support in every way that you do. So this is just my simple thank you. Um, for tuning in and, and joining us here on this channel. Um, so super excited that you guys have come to be here. So cool. So Leo, I'm just going to do a, a quick message, quick bonus reading for you as to what is going on in your energy, what to expect through the, uh, the right, you know, I'm going to do the mid months, but just, you know, what's coming up for you guys right now. Uh, I am going to do three separate messages. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I usually do. Uh, so take what parts resonate, leave what does not behind. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher, if that is you. Discern the messages accordingly. So I'm going to pull out three separate messages as we go. I'm not going to timestamp these uh, because I always feel like when it comes to stuff like this, uh, 111 on the clock, um, that there's always something to learn. This isn't just about, is this my experience today? Because this could be something you're experiencing tomorrow. So, you know, just sit with it. I learned so much years ago um, on my journey. And there's another video I think I posted some time ago where I talked about that. I think it was with the domestic violence one that I did on October 31st. Um, how much tarot assisted me through some times of trouble of my own. Uh, and when you're open to that advice, even if it doesn't resonate in the moment, it can really have a profound impact in the future or even with other people that you know that you should be assisting or you know you should be a guide or beacon of light for so um, you just you never know right that humanitarianism all right so let's see first set of leo's spirit what is it that the first set of leo's needs to know today um time and clarity you know there's a there's been a lot in the readings it doesn't matter it seems what sign you're what sign you are uh, especially with this new moon coming up it is envisioning, right? Trusting in the, the idea of timing. And Leo, I've seen this for you guys in the past where it's like, can we just get this over with or can we just skip that step and can we just move on? Um, don't let life flash before your eyes and then wake up one day and go, did I miss something? Did I not get to participate in certain aspects of, of life because I was waiting for the right thing, the right person, the right time? Don't don't miss your mark is what spirit is saying, okay? So the, for the first set of Leos, please, spirit. Fragments and revision. Uh, I feel like we're elevating as I go through these messages, okay? So bear with me. Um, revision. It's almost like you may have taken, spirit is saying, taken the bait of a potential option or opportunity and now it's like, did I do this the right way? You could be questioning yourself because I feel like maybe you maybe you had a couple job offers, right? Maybe there was a little fear. I don't know where this is coming from. Um, attached to money, okay? And it's like, if I don't go and do this right now, I don't know if something better is come out, gonna come along. And it was like within, we'll say the first week, just as an example. So you go ahead, you take this job because like, what if I go two, three weeks and I don't get another opportunity? I feel like you're realizing that you may have pinched yourself off. For some of you, this could be in due time, another job opportunity will come up. But I also feel like fear stepped in in the decision-making process for you. Like if I if I don't just hurry up and take this person, right? It's like settling. Don't settle for that job. Don't settle for that person because you don't understand. You may not have an idea or a knowing of what is to come and that's where you know we have to trust in the divine process and, and the faith you know really test our faith to see what it is that spirit is trying to bring into our world without us having a clear-cut picture or plan as to what is on the other side of this if we could just sit and be be still and I kind of just talked about that in the daily reading but also with that time that popped up on the you know on the split there it's about the timing of a situation sometimes we're not meant to be doing sometimes we're meant to be still and Leo, I think that that's part of it right now was like, you may be re, you know, revisiting, <laughs> revisiting um, a time where you maybe took this quick action, this swift action out of a space of fear because 
what happens if it all falls apart if I don't take this? So, you know, to me, the, the message is very simple. You have the efficiency coming out in the reverse and then the motion. You know, again, rep, rep, repetitious. I can't talk. Repetitious kind of energy with this is even if this isn't the ideal, I'm just going to take it because it's something rather than going, I am worthy, deserving of and more capable than what I'm being offered. So it's kind of like you're, you know, getting into situations with people, places and things that ultimately feel like they're breadcrumbing you. Like this could have been better, but I'm going to settle for less. Don't allow yourself to settle at this time, Leo. Um, with all of the alignments and how things are changing up, there's so much more that awaits you when you're when you're having faith and trusting in, in the divine plan. So you know, don't let don't let this um, stop you from moving forward. Just know that you're learning that patience. The patience is going to be one of the greatest gifts that you're going to be able to give yourself um, as you move through life. Okay. So additional information for Leo on this. And I'm not going to let this video get too long either um, because we're all busy, right? We all have things to do too. Um, <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, it's like a rebuild of something. It's slow moving energy. I think what it is for you guys too, um, you could have uh, somebody who's, again, I talked about that offer, um, offering you something else and it, again knight of pentacles timing slow moving kind of energy with this efficiency in the reverse is i'm hearing had you just waited <laughs> had you just waited take the plunge though like if you have some new opportunity that's coming in for you it's going to make you happy but you have to agree to be happy you have to agree to this nine of cups and the sun card leo there you are you have to agree to want to, you know, feel this space of abundance. You want to, you know, you need to be in the space of wanting to feel all things that are good and, and kind of cut yourself loose from anything that's anything less than what you envision your life to be. The sign of pentacles is no matter what, you're going to be free and independent. You don't need um, to kind of hang on to things that are not worthy of your time. So I, I feel like for you guys, and if I remember correctly, a lot of this came up around work, maybe, or projects or something. Pardon me if you hear my stomach growling. It's like, feed me. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's a hunger for life there for you, right? Everything is a sign. Um, there's a hunger for, for something more. Seven of Pentacles. And I, I said about the work, right? Like, you get to take control of your situation. You get to boss up. Um, I do. I really think that it may have been, I don't, I just keep hearing so much about conversations and communication right now in these readings um, from Spirit that you may have had a conversation with somebody and maybe, you know, if it's a job, you weren't able to make a move. They weren't able to make a move on their end. And I know this came up in another reading and I can't remember whose it was. Um, but having that conversation around something is going to either create growth for new opportunity in the future or you're starting to see this come into fruition now where someone's coming back around and going, hey, here you go. My concern to this is we're going from the nine of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. We're taking a step back again. You know, it's time to move on and move forward. Don't slow yourself down. Don't hold yourself back. Um, and that five of swords with that emperor, that's, that's self-sabotage, right? That's you feeling less than. And I will say to be mindful too of how people speak to you at your work, how they're addressing you. Are they meeting you with um, love, kindness, compassion? Are they treating you on an equal level? Uh, that really seems to be the message here. Is is it equal? Even though we don't have that Six of Pentacles or the Six of Cups, right? Uh, is it is it an equal equal and shared value? Okay, so don't let anybody talk, talk down to you or make you feel like it's just not enough. You are being drawn out to something better or you're not going to be breadcrumbed but you have you have to be the one to agree to that right you can't hold yourself back you have to agree that yeah i deserve more than just half of what is being given to me all right next group of leos here next message for leo spirit next message for leo <clears throat> motion in the reverse 
Spirit just said, under, listen, seriously, balance your understanding for the you know group of you, uh, motion in the reverse, time in the upright. Some of you are beginning to understand what it is to be still. Um, and that's, stomp, stomp, stomp. Great evolvement for you. That that dragonfly is the um, you know, transmutation. It is us stepping into our higher selves. It is finding connectivity in our transformation and how amazing it feels when we are there. It opens you up to the center of your of your core. You know, there's that sun card again. You are you're right there front and center. Um, it's okay to take a pause. And part of this revision too, and even though these are two separate, but still the same. Uh, you know, energy flowing through here is that you're learning to take that pause so that you can revise. So for some of you, you've already been through this space of revision. You've been through this space of feeling breadcrumbed. Now it's like learning to trust, learning to build. Spirit is saying it's a three-step process as well. Um, new birth, new growth, new things are coming in due time. Be patient. It is on its way for you. Um, I also feel like some of you could be getting more into the holistic approach of life in general, finding modalities that are healing to you. So you could be getting into Reiki, you could be getting into nature more, you could be, you know, it's like almost shamanistic kind of um, vibe working with um, the moon cycles, working with, you know, your spirit guides, diving into that more spiritual aspect of the self and then holistically taking an approach to heal and incorporate all these various parts of, of your life. And I think, Leo, that's going to be a, a very important key element too with this because with this balance coming in and learning to be still in the moment, it is that yin and yang energy. It's the divine feminine. It's the divine masculine. It's incorporating all the things that are going to nurture your soul and nurture your, your personal body, right? So I like that feeling for you guys. So for those of you who are moving in that direction, keep going. Um, I feel like there's a lot of abundance. Some of you, they're talking about the throat chakra, like eating blueberries. Um, so that's going to incorporate you could be eating blueberries. I don't know, right? Um, spirits. Some of you could be feeling a little bit of blue, little blue at this time. Two of swords. It is this this two of swords and the light seers. She's she's reaching to take that blindfold off. She's reaching to to see. Uh, what her options are, who the hell's pecking her to death, and reviewing what it is that has not been balanced for her. As she's got the scales of justice on her arm. Knight of Wands. You are. You're freeing yourself up to something that feels lighter and, and more, um, more carefree within you. Uh, some of you could be going on retreats or feeling a need to get up and travel, make some major movement, going out you know, feeling yourself, feeling confidently in your own, having fun. What I like about this Knight of Wands is it's got four staffs on it, four torches, whatever you want to refer to them as. There's a cause for celebration. And I feel like as you're releasing these burdens, as you're releasing um, these spaces of indecision and recognizing where this uncomfortableness is coming from, uh, that is that is a great cause for celebration. Celebrate every part of your journey that moves you and progresses you forward, not just um, massive wins and successes. Like there's more to celebrate in life than just these big things like weddings and graduations and birthdays. Like every day celebrate, you know, you celebrate everything in your existence. Queen of Cups coming at it with a space of love and transforming this energy that I talked about that transformation. The wheel and the death card. Oh my gosh, look at this. The pain, anything that has brought you self-doubt, um, control, control aspects in your life. Um, I feel like this is finally releasing itself and opening you up with that Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. It's positive transformation. It's positive change. It's taking the risk for your higher good rather than for somebody else's, but it's also coming from a space of emotional fulfillment within you. It's it's opening you up, and the more carefree you become, the more lighthearted you become, the more balanced you're becoming in your emotions. And, you know, I think it's interesting with this card this particular balance card, you see the, the water line there, right? It's very indicative of that water energy and, you know, dragonfly is transformation. Um, so with that, and then you've got the queen of cups here and she's got that, that water, right? There's a nice balance between her upper half and her lower half of this bot of, of her body. There is that emotional flow. It reminds me of Sagittarius energy. I will say you could be dealing with a Scorpio, 
uh, Cancer or Pisces as well with that energy and then a double confirmation on the Scorpio with that with that death card there. So, you know, what it is that you're doing to open yourself up, to feel carefree, to step into this new space of light for yourself, um, keep going. And if you're doing these spiritual practices of working with the sun and the moon and finding that equivocal balance, you know, and that's the interesting thing about this time card too. You see, she's got this yin and yang kind of energy attached to her, right? She's playing with both sides of the universe. She's incorporating this new birth, this new life that, that she's got going on here. And what's very interesting is from this past, this revision, or if you've already been there or you're coming out of that, that owl is, is, can be death, right? They can be signifiers of death, but this is an internal death of the things that have not served your higher good that you've pushed down and not dealt with and finally coming to the surface so that you can bask in the wisdom of what it is that you're moving forward and into. So I like that for you guys very much. Next group, shift. You guys are so slow moving when it comes to these things. Um, I'm going to take both of these. Context and stretch. Um, I just said, you know, to the second group, brilliance here again. Um, get out in nature. Uh, some of you might be taking a swim or be in a space where you can swim right now. I know here it's too cold for that craziness. Um, it's nicer than it has been, but still too chilly for this gal. Um, but it's like that movement is allowing you to become vocal. Uh, I do believe that Christmas time is going to be very important to you. Uh, they're showing me like finding new love, um, sitting by a fireplace, like all the cute romantic stuff that let's not get carried away into the fairy tale shit, but it's creating this new life. It is birthing this creation for you. This stretch is to, to, you know, the physical body itself, right? So make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're getting the exercise, the rest, the replenishment that you need. But at the same time, this stretch is also the growth. It is opening you up. It is feeling, you know, you think about it when you stretch your body out, <clears throat> the blood flow just comes in, right? Like it's just like from head to toe, you feel flexible, you feel vibrant, you feel like every part of your body is being nourished after stretching. It, it warms you up, it heats up the soul, it heats up the body. You feel limber, you feel flexible. Same kind of energy here. And it's like, and I feel like too, with this context, I always get a lot about the voice, that throat chakra. And I talked about that in the last little segment here. Um, it's allowing you to expand yourself in ways. And I do feel like this shift for you, like, you know, maybe two o'clock in the afternoon today, you feel like you can take on the world. And then by six o'clock, you're like, I just want to go back into my hole and hide. Um, so you're trying to balance out this shift that is taking place, uh, within it. It's like you're incorporating this into your mind, your body and your soul, Leo, um, very different in a way in messages for you, but very cool um, the way it's happening. But there's growth. <clears throat> and I mean, it's spiritual growth for you. Like, it's amazing how little things that will happen in our world, something as simple as making a quick impulsive decision can be such a massive lesson for how it is that we move forward. For Leo, Four of Pentacles. Don't hold on to the past, Spirit is saying. Do not hold on to what you feel you didn't have or where. And I think that's where the hang-up with this shift, like I said, 6 o'clock in the evening, and all of a sudden you're just like, I want to go to bed. You know, there's that Four of Swords. Justice. I talked about the justice. There it is on the bottom of the deck. Um, but it's like you're hanging on to something that is the fear that you're not going to have more. It's almost like an, a sense of lack, two of pentacles in the reverse. Um, and that's where this, this pain, there's that damn emperor, those same three cards again, um, is coming from. That's where this three of swords sits. And you could also feel that for some of you, this could be, um, when I see that emperor with that three of swords with this, some of you could be making an exit from a situation that has been extremely unhealthy and toxic for a very long time. Um, because it's like, there is a need to take care of you, right? Um, and it's interesting because spirit is bringing to my attention 
that some of this abusive type of behavior could have been coming from within, something that you were taught. Uh, for others of you, you could have been dealing with a masculine energy, right, male, female, doesn't matter, that kept you in this influx of some form of abusive control, power, manipulation. And it's like, if I make this move, this is all I'm gonna have. You're gonna, listen, when you cross that threshold of anything that's been abusive, toxic, profound to you, um, you may go without for a little while. I'm not even gonna pretend like you won't. This is the real fucking world. Like, this is not rainbows and butterflies and I'm not gonna tell you something that I don't see uh, just to make you feel better. You could go without for a while and you may have to pinch pennies and you may have to really be very resourceful in what it is that you're doing while you give yourself a little bit of a reprieve from this. But on the other side of that, there is no indecision. That two of pentacles in the reverse they're showing me is going back to the ace of pentacles. You're getting a new beginning from leaving this toxicity behind, to leave this manipulation behind, to leave this power of control behind. Be cautious too of people who drink too much around you. Um, your tattoos, almost like could for some of you like write a life story for you. There, there's very significant significance behind that. Um, let, let your story be told. Let your truth be known. Um, don't be afraid to oust people who have made you feel less than. And we talked about that speak up in, in the daily reading, I think it was. Um, yeah, in the daily reading. Stand in your convictions of truth and what it is to take care of yourself, Leo. Um, Spirit said any form of abuse is abuse. And it's funny, I brought up that, um, I think it was in this reading. Oh, gosh, I forget already. Um, but it was either today or in the daily today or parts of this that I talked about that um, need to let go of fear, which I think might've been in the daily. I don't even know now, my goodness. Um, but here it is again, that control, the manipulation, the hurt and the pain that comes with that. And then the fear that becomes ingrained in you that 22, 22 on the clock, that you're gonna have to hold on to that pain so that you can have control of your, of your life. And I feel like with this shift, it's starting it's starting to balance out for you, right? It's coming into um, coming into yourself, Spirit said. So see how that energy changes? Isn't it crazy? Go from this to this to this, how it shifts up. It's wild. Like I, my, I take on, I encompass all of that energy when it comes through. Take the time to rest and take care of yourself. Plain and simple. Um, leave the lying, the cheating, the bullshit behind. It's not yours to deal with anymore. It is not for you. Advice for Leos. Let's go with this deck. Advice for Leos, please, spirit. Yeah, you're withdrawing your presence to a situation over here. Uh, very best thing that you can do. Walk away, stand your ground. We talked about speaking up, opening up yourself, detaching. Um, you know, and it's contradictory, right? Open up and detach, but there's parts of things that you need to detach from that are toxic so that you can open up to a vast majority of the things that are going to be uplifting for you, right? Advice for Leo, please, here. Manifest. I'm telling you, that card just keeps popping up. Worth. Respect yourself. Self-respect, Leo, is what spirit is bringing up. Self-respect. Knowing what, again, you're, I always say what you're worthy and capable of and breaking free. So this over here, this, this first reading that we did, pay attention. Signs and symbols are all around you. Slow down. If you're not sure, don't get impulsive again. First set of reading here, manifest. I told you. Could have jumped into something too soon, too fast. Give things time. It's divine timing is working out at play in your life. Let it work to your better benefit. Worth. Kicking up your heels, letting go, trusting in the timing that everything is coming in. You have to know that you're worthy of your happiness. What, you know, your value is. Cherish who you are with this Queen of Cups. And ultimately, this Two of Pentacles in the reverse, it's time to break free from those indecisions. Somebody has made you... Um, has questioned you, has breadcrumbed you, has made you feel like this is all you're ever going to have. Maybe in that moment, that will be all you have. 
but they don't have the control to keep you in that space. So the second that you decide that, yeah, I recognize this path may not be the easiest path, it will be the road less traveled, but ultimately, long run, you are free of whatever this is for you, okay? All right, Leo, I hope you found the parts of this video, if not the whole thing, some way resonated for you. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your comments, your subscribing. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Take care of yourselves and the mid months will be out soon and hopefully I'll get an 1111 portal reading out for you guys as well. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye.